let us start the next part of this unit how to find out the friction loss how to find out the friction loss friction loss is calculated using the one simple formula loss is equal to mu alpha plus kx into initial pre stress using this formula we can calculate the friction loss then let us define all these terms what is the meaning of mu what is the meaning of alpha what is the meaning of k and what is exactly x how to find out the initial pre stress where mu is equal to coefficient of coefficient of friction between between duct and wire generally this value is pairing between 0.25 to 0.55 in curve effect in curve effect if the coefficient of friction is not given in problem you have to use the value of mu from 0.25 to 0.55 next term is alpha so this is cumulative angle angle in radian made by curve tendon generally alpha is equal to 2 theta so let us sketch the simply supported beam to understand exactly meaning of alpha and theta so this is the siege of concrete subjected to the parabolic tendon so if you provide the processing force p here if you take 
the tangent from this end okay and tangent from this end the angle made by this both tangent is nothing but the alpha and alpha is equal to double of theta this theta is nothing but angle made by the tangent at this end generally this end is fixed and at this end the prestressing force is provided so this end is called jacking end this end is called jacking end and this end is called remote end alpha is nothing but double of theta and theta is nothing but the angle made by the tangent at this end so this is the parabolic cable profile of a tendon what is the next term k k is a frictional coefficient k is the frictional coefficient for wave effect generally the value is 15 into 10 days to minus 4 to 50 into 10 days to minus 4 per meter is considered What is x? It is a distance from jacking end where losses required to calculate required to calculate generally the x is counted counted from this end x if you want to calculate the loss at this end the x is full span of the beam if you want to calculate loss at the initial end x is zero so this is the theoretical concept how to find out the friction loss Next loss is how to find out the anchorage slip loss. How to find out anchorage slip loss. Using one small formula you can find out the anchorage slip loss. Loss is equal to del A into es divided by span of the beam using this formula you can find out the anchorage slip loss let us discuss terminology where 
del A is the slip in mm generally this slip of cable is mentioned in question it is given in question we know that es is the angst modulus angst modulus and l is the length of tendon tendon or we can put span of beam so this is the completion of theoretical concept of slip loss let us revise these two losses friction loss is calculated using this formula loss is equal to mu alpha plus kx into initial pressures mu is generally given in question alpha you have to find out k is generally given in question x you have to put initial pre stress is also given in question alpha is calculated using this terminology alpha is equal to 2 theta theta is calculated here cal theta is calculated using the parabolic profile of cable slip loss is calculated using this formula loss is equal to del a into es divided by l del a is a slip in mm generally this is given in question es is angst modulus l is the length of the tendon